Welcome to Brand and Graphics channel. My name is Vincent Annie. Today I will be showing you how to design a book cover like a pro. Whether you are designing a book cover for any genre, romance, crime, mystery, horror, suspense, or fantasy. Simply apply the principles you are going to learn from this tutorial and I guarantee a fantastic result. In stage one, let's determine the size of our book cover. In order to do this, we have to know the standard book sizes of our preferred genre. Take a look at this. Just type in book cover sizes in your Google search. I pull this from many pixels. We are going to be designing fiction of five by eight inches size. But remember that there are three sections of a book cover. The front cover here, the back cover here, and the spine. There is the fourth one, the bleed. That is the printer's margin. The next stage is page setup. Since we are designing a book cover of five by eight inches, we are going to calculate the, we are going to sum the width of each section, the width of the front cover, the middle, that is the spine, and the back cover. The front cover is five by eight inches. The back cover is the same. The size of the spine is determined by the number of pages a book contains. In real life for a project, you will be giving this, that information. But here, Let's assign the arbitrary number of one inch to our spine. That means our full dimension will be five inches here, plus one inch here, six inches, plus five inches here, 11 inches by eight inches. The height remains the same. We, don't, we are not adding bleed this time around. Now let's create a page. Instead of five by eight, it's going to be 11 by eight now. Our resolution is 300 and column mode is CMYK color. Let's create. You can simply click on your markers, click at the beginning and drag to 1500. 1500 is equivalent to five inches. Now drag your ruler to this border. This is one way of doing it. But I like to do it a bit differently. Go back here. Go to new. I will create a second page 5 by 8 inches. 5 by 8 inches. Fill this cover. Click on our artboard. Pull this down. Drag this page to our artboard. Close this, position it here. That's our front cover. Now drag your ruler. In case you can't find your ruler, just go to view, you'll find it here. Then hold down Alt, click and drag this page. That's our back cover. As you can see, we have our spine in the middle. So this spine, to get the exact measurement of the spine, there are so many calculators online. I've added a link of my videos on how to use a KDP calculator to get the actual dimensions of your book cover. The name of the link is Dolphin Coloring Book for Kids. So now that we have the partition our artboard, we can go ahead to delete this. 
delete this. The next uh, stage now is importing the images we are going to use in this project. I have the images in one folder. We pull in the first one. All these images are downloaded from pizel.com. You are going to get a whole lot of free images on this very website. I type in horror background and I was able to find the image we are using to design. That's the image here. So the next is convert to smart object and resize this. Let's go ahead to bring in the second image. Convert this to smart object. Resize. I want this priest to appear as if he's standing in front of the dark door. Performing some functions. We can achieve this in two methods. Let's use the first one, which is blending mode. We'll use the second one when we bring in the second, the next image. This is good, but we would like the hood to be red. That's it. Let's quickly bring in the next image. Is it? Convert to smart object, then resize and reposition. Here we want only the lantern. Instead of using blending mode, let's do something different. Click here, this is the, the image we are working on. Click on the layering mask. Let's select our brush. Use the left and right bracket to reduce or expand the size of the brush once. Go to property and invert. Now, if you are not happy with the result, you can still go back to layers, apply a blending option. Let's use this. Now let's go ahead and apply our text. Let's duplicate this text. Hold down Alt key, duplicate again. Change this to off.
go down shift and select the trade text change the color to white let's use the code change the font Polaroid bold italics I downloaded this font from the font lots and lots of free fonts are here I just simply typed in I simply typed in horror and searched and selected this Polaroid but to use this particular font for commercial purposes, you need to make donation. Let's go ahead and uh, reposition our text. Scale down. Let's scale the three together and reposition. Let's change the color of this test off. Pick our eyedropper tool. Sample a color here and fill. Let's look for a lighter color. Sample here and fill. That's okay. Select our text again. Drop it here. Change the font. Rescale this. Rescale. Pick our eyedropper to sample somewhere here. Fill. Let's try and make this color stronger. Hold Alt key and duplicate this. Now let's group our front cover. Hold down Shift and click here. Control G. Let's call it cover title. Let's apply. Let's apply a drop shadow. You can see what's going on there. All right, so let's keep it simple. I don't want spread, I don't want size. Oh, 
That's okay. Pick this. Hold down shift and drag this up here. Like this. Select this tree. Risk at it. Now let's select random text. Let's go ahead to, to get the barcode. This is just a random barcode we screenshot it from on the Google. Let's create a, a rectangle. Change the color. Let's pick our eyedropper tool and sample this here. Let's go to our layers. Now let's take this below. Click on this. Change the color. Let's add a to the sample. Dark color here. Yeah. yeah. Let's make the text on this back cover to pop. So let's um pick our eyedropper to sample somewhere here. Then select re rectangle to create a rectangle. Let's go ahead and select our rectangle. Then go over to the blending options. So it depends on what you want. I think I like this hard light. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Let me go back to hard light. This is okay. So now let me hold down shift and select all the items here on the back cover and group them. Control G. 
back cover. Select it. Let's apply drop shadow. The same 17 is okay. Now the last place we are going to work on now is the spine. Having selected this color for the back, we maintain that, create another rectangle. Let's select this. Hold down Alt key, click and drag, then rotate. Take this up. Select this, drag. Rotate. Rotate this. Drag it to the end, to the top. Let's align center. Hold on, shift, and select everything here in the spine. Control G. Spine. Then also add drop shadow here. 17 is okay. Not sure I quite like this lantern there. So let's turn it off. That's better. Let's try and uh, position everything well. Thank you so much for watching. This is our book cover. Please don't forget to subscribe.